Jesus. You receive that. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Right now, Judges chapter 15. You will need that Judges 15. You will need that Verse 11 to 16. Then 3,000 men of Judah went up to the top of the rock Etam and said to Samson, Knowest thou not that the Philistines are rulers over us? What is it that thou hast done unto us? And he said unto them, as they did unto me, so have I done unto them. Nipa na ni egbe dogun okunrin Judah sokale lo si palapala apata etamu. Won si we fun Samsoni pe, iwo ko mo pe awon Philistine ni alase lori wa. Kine yi ti wo se si wa yi. O si we fun won pe gege bi won ti se si mi, be ni emi se si won. Let's go on to verse 14. Ke lo si ese ikerin la. And when he came out to Lehi, the Philistines shouted against him. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and the cause that were upon his arms became as flax that was burnt with fire, and his hands loosed from off it, and his bands loosed from off his hand. <laughs> And he found a new jawbone of an ass and put forth his hand and took it and slew a thousand men therewith. Osi repari ere kekete kete tutu kan. Osi na aware. Osi mu. Osi fi pa ekberu akuri. And Samson said, with the jawbone of an ass, heaps upon heaps, with the jawbone of an ass, have I slain a thousand men. Samson is it with pay, bari ereke, kan, o kiti, lori o kiti, bari ereke, kete kete kan, ni mo fi pa ekbe, ron akonri. What happens? When the fire of God falls. Number one, you are Yokes are destroyed. Bobo ajaka pata pata ni amambaje. Isaiah chapter ten verse twenty-seven. We Isaiah urike waise keta di logmo. Isaiah ten twenty-seven. Isaiah urike waise keta di logmo. Says the anointing destroys yokes. So we pray, mi rorunyo, ama apa agjagano. When the fire of God fell on Samson, dingba ti na lo runso kale zuri Samsoni. All the ropes binding him were burnt. Go go kuti afi de ni adoni no. They were not just caught; they were burnt. Ise ku akon jamu adu wani noni. Because the fire that came down. It's a fire from the Almighty God. And Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29. Hebrews 12, verse 29. Says, Our God is a consuming fire. So when the fire of God comes down, yokes seen and unseen are destroyed by the fire of God. And I'm praying for someone here tonight that whatever yokes may remain in your life, that which is not letting your hand to prosper. That which has been hindering your legs from making progress. They shall be consumed tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. The second thing that happens when the fire falls is that the one on whom the fire falls become empowered. 
and in now ti na ba so kale sori re o di eni ti aro le agbara so that whatever his hand touches begins to prosper ni to pe o nko ti owo re ba te abere si ni serere Samson found the job bone of an ass Samson ni ri pari ere ketekete kan and the job bone of an ass suddenly became a weapon of war o pari ere ketekete yi o wa ohun elo ogun lowo re because when the fire of god falls it's only nigba ti na olorun ba sokale the one on whom it falls any now ti na sokale le lori receives power agba agbara olorun in acts chapter 1 verse 8 we know we shall apostle ori kini ese ikejo acts 1 verse 8 we shall apostle ori kini ese ikejo the bible say we shall receive power bibeli wo pe yi ogba agbara when the holy ghost is come upon us nigba ti emi mi mo ba ba le yi in acts chapter 3 ni ese apostle ori keta verse 1 8 3 verse 1 8 apostle ori keta ese kini si ikejo after fire had come upon Peter. Ni leyin igba ti ina ti so kale lori Peteru. He took a layman by the hand. O fu adi aro ni lowo mu. And because his hand has received power. Ni tori pe agbara re si ara re owo ti e ti gba agbara. He was able to transfer that power into the layman. O o ni afa lati mu ki agbara na ki wo inu aye akunrin aro yi. And the layman now began to walk. Okunrin aro na bere si ni rin. I want you to stretch forth your hand at this moment. And say the fire of God. Fall on these hands. So that from now on. Whatever I touch. We begin to prosper. The top thing that happens oh get at you shele when fire of god falls see no lord ba so kale is that all external enemies are destroyed oni pe gbogbo awon ota ita gbogbo won patani o parun samson took the job of anas samson e mu pari ere keketekete and suddenly all the enemies that didn't run lay down dead awon ota to ko ton sa awon ota le ni madeni won ti oku see the bible says in psalm 68 bibeli so ninu ori david ori keji ti ni adorin verses 1 and 2 ese kini ati keji psalm 68 verses 1 and 2 ori david ori keji ti ni adorin ese kini ati keji it says when god arises pe nigba ti oluwa ba dide his enemies will scatter awon ota re won ti eni ti an le ton sa And I'm prophesying to someone here tonight. Mo wa so tele fe nikan ni ila leyi. By the time you return home, igba ti wa ba fi pada dele, you find that all your enemies are gone. Amen. Bu gbo awon ota re yi o ti sa fun o. Deuteronomy 28. Oh, Deuteronomy ori keji di logbon. Thank you, Father. Amen. I know there is someone here tonight. Oluwa so pe ni kan be ni la leyi. He said that business that was closed down will reopen. Amen. Pe o ko wo re to ti ti pa ni, wa tun to si le kan. Thank you Father. Amen. I know there is someone here tonight. Oluwa so pe ni kan be ni la leyi. He said that which the enemy has swallowed, he will vomit it. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Oh, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. The Lord says, "Oluwa, we pray. Many homes will soon be filled with the laughter of new children." Opo lopo idile bi yo ku fun ayo mo tutun Please join me in clapping for the to the almighty God for that They were la for Lord Lord Mary Now it's on me 28 It's on me ori keji di logbon verses 1 and 7 
says clearly that when you are obedient to God you won't have to fight your enemies he said because the enemies that come against you one way they will flee seven ways in the name that's above every other name from now on all the enemies that stand up against you will be smitten by the almighty God himself the fourth thing that happens when the fire of God falls is that the household enemies will be disappointed it was the relatives of Samson that bound him they were the one who handed him over to the external enemies. They were those who felt, ah, let's get rid of this troublemaker. They thought that Samson will never come back home. But God disappointed them all the enemies in your father's house all the enemies in your mother's house all the enemies in your husband's house all the enemies in your wife's house after tonight they shall be disappointed All those who thought that you will not reach your goal. All those who wanted to kill your dreams. Like the brothers of Joseph. In the name of the one who sent me. After you have reached your goal. They will come and bow down before you. Amen. David said in Psalm 23 verse 5 <laughs> Hallelujah, glory. thank you Father Amen The Lord said there is someone here tonight who is downcast he asked me to tell you your son will rise again. Amen. David said, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I assure every one of you listening to me tonight whether the enemy likes it or not he shall be well with you. Amen. The fifth thing that happens when the fire of God falls is that destiny will be restored. Uh, when the relatives of Samson brought him bound to the enemy, they thought his destiny was over. But then, the Almighty God has a purpose for the life of Samson. And God saw to it that the plan of the enemy to truncate the destiny of Samson was foiled. Samson 
I've always said it. Nobody comes to this world without a reason. God sent you to this world for a purpose. When you were young, you had some beautiful dreams. You had dreams of greatness. But as time began to go, it looks as if those dreams will never be fulfilled. I have good news for you tonight. Before the end of this year, you will have a testimony. Amen. <laughs> now, this is a funny one. Amen. The Lord said, There's someone here. He said, Your constant prayer has been God bless Daddy Jill. The Lord asked me to tell you, I will bless you also. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And also there's someone here tonight. He said before the end of this month. This month of March. He said you will sing. He has done it for me. Oh, it is for me. If you are the one, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Amen. Ooh. Amen. It's a very serious one. And I said there is someone who has made up his mind. Who has made up his mind. That he will deal ruthlessly with the redeemed Christian Church of God. Hmm. The Lord asked me to tell whoever that is. And he's not saying the fellow is here. He just said there is someone like that. If you know such a fellow, please tell him. He said the fellow should choose the type of death that he wants to die. And he said he can have one out of four. Motor accident. Sleep and not wake up. Cancer. Or heart attack. Tabi, I saw token. Please, I beg you, if if you are here, go be or to ban beni. If you are the one and you are here, go by the wall and you know to one. Stay put with God at the altar tonight. Don't go home begging until He will change His mind. When we finish, don't go, stay put. And you know, he knows all things. Oh Lord. Tabakari, ko wasi wadu, pepe ni wadu olorun, ki otakusi wadu olodumare, peko sha no fuo, o mongo go, 
If it's your relative, if I've ever had anybody say that, tell him what came out this night. So All right. Now, the sixth thing that happens when the fire falls. Oh, we care for Tishele. The number six or Kale. Is that? When the fire falls on you, suddenly you begin to have the last laugh. The Philistines were rejoicing. They were shouting. Ah, we got our enemy. It's even bound. Oh, this fellow is finished. Ah, But, not long after that, like, like, Samson was the one saying, Samson to one with the jawbone of an ass. I have wiped out my enemies. I prophesy to someone here today. In the name that's above every other name. You will laugh last. In Daniel chapter 6. You know the story from verse 1 to 24. Daniel chapter 6 Daniel Urikefa. from verse 1 to 24 the enemy saw the way Samson was rising so they plotted against him to, to put an end to him permanently they threw him into the den of lions. Rolled the stone across the mouth. They thought this fellow is finished. I'm sure they must have gone home laughing and rejoicing. But by the following morning, Daniel came out alive. Daniel and then the king sent for the enemies and asked them to go into the den themselves. I assure you by the time the sun rises this day it will be your turn to laugh at your enemies. In Exodus chapter 12, <sighs> the Lord said, Yes, I'm here tonight. Who has been asking? When will God answer my prayers? When will God answer my prayers? He asked me to tell you tonight. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Now this one is for me. <laughs> so let me say amen before I tell you. Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 Lord said there's someone here tonight. Hello, so queen company la lay. He said, take a proper record of where you are now. Okay. She a call at ya key si pataki ni rukoto wa loni gogo. He said, because I'm about to take you far. Amen. In Exodus chapter 12, Exodus 12, verse 31 to 36, when the fire of God fell in the land of Egypt, Pharaoh sent for Moses in a hurry. 
the one who had said who is your God I don't know him and I'm not going to let you go now said go quickly go and worship your God and bless me also. I can, I can see Moses saying, I thought you said you don't know my God. You are now asking that God to bless you. All those who have been asking, Where is your God? You will laugh last over them. Let me take one more point because there's something, one or two special things God wants to do tonight. When the fire of God falls, a child of God will begin to sing a new song. Humanly speaking, if Samson had a song, if he has a song, before the fire fell, it will be, ah, it looks as if the end has come. But after the fire fell, it began to sing a new song. Every one of you here tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus, you will begin to sing a new song. Amen. Psalm 40, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 40, verse 1 to 3. He said, When I cry to the Almighty God, he brought me out of the merry clay and he put a new song in my mouth the Bible says in Psalm 126 Psalm 126 verse 1 to 3 he said when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream. He said, Then was our mouth filled with laughter. And our tongue with singing. In the name that's above every other name. From this moment onward, you'll be laughing for joy. Amen. You'll be singing a new song. In 1 Samuel chapter 2. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I think Hallelujah. But this one again is for me, so I, I, I will just say Amen and then tell you. The Lord said there's someone here tonight. Impossible as it may appear to you. He said, One day, when you arrive anywhere, everybody will stand up. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I think God is served the the best to the last for me. Oh, my father, thank you. The Lord said there's someone here tonight. He said, your own golden age begins now. Ah. Thank you, my Father. Amen. Amen and amen. 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 Mm. Daddy says, Daddy, so we pay. It is usually said, Woman, so 
flowers fade. I want to do am I read stories end. Ethan, am I joke me? He said that there's someone here tonight. Your testimony will never end. I think that's the crown. That's the crown of it. That's for me. That means those who are thinking that maybe one day I will grow less, they are wasting their time. Amen. I want to one day the artist who can be or then one person riegu. First Samuel chapter two. Samuel kini ori keji. Verse one to ten. Ese kini se kewa. When they all answered Anna. Nipa ti alone da Anna lo. She sang a new song. O kori tutu. Ah, hello. Those of you who have been saying this barren woman is going to die barren. Now come and see. You know when I was listening to the first testimony tonight. Of the woman who had been barren for 17 years. And God gave her four children at a go. And I know. That I've asked God for 70,000 children. I know that testimony is going to be multiplied among my people. When the fire of God falls. What it does depends on who it falls upon. Oh, Whenever fire falls, it either turns what it falls upon to fire. Or turn it to ashes. You put a piece of wood in the fire. The good part of the wood will also become fire. The bad part of the wood will become ashes. When the fire of God falls, if you are not a child of God, if you are not on the side of God, if you are living a life of sin, it's a dangerous thing to ask the fire of God to fall. Because if it falls on you and you are not one of his children, it will only destroy you. Now he said, let, the, let God arise. And his enemies will be scattered. And Jesus Christ says, Those who are not for me are against me. If you are not born again, if all your sins have not been washed away by the blood of the land, and you say, Let the fire fall, how are you going to handle it? If you are not yet born again, you better run forward now. Come and give your life to Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus wash away your sins. And then, when the fire comes, 
it will provide you with mighty miracles so if you want to give your life to Jesus begin to come now if you are very far away then you should begin to move very very fast And as you come, begin to pray, begin to call on Jesus for the salvation of your soul. Those of you on the way, begin to pray even as you are coming. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Savior, we bless your name. Thank you for your word. Thank you for this, your children. That before this evening, you, you have not allowed them to perish. Now they have come to you. Please receive them in Jesus' name. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Let your blood cleanse them from all their sins in Jesus' name. Save their souls tonight. And write their name in the book of life in Jesus' name. Yes, when the fire falls tonight, let it bring them miracles in Jesus' name. And I pray that they will never go back to the world in Jesus' name. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You're watching Redemption Way.